Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Rash and Clank playthrough. Last time we started our invasion of the Gimlick base, and uh, in this video we're going to be finishing our invasion of the Gimlick base. So uh, we stopped kind of in this room right here. Seems to be a lot of enemies on the ceiling. I'm kind of nervous about this, admittedly. Um, I'm wondering if maybe there's something. Oh God, hello. Um, Okay, you know what? I know exactly what I'm going to be using for this. Glove of Doom. Come on. And wow, I get Glove of Doom ammo in this room to be precise as well, so that's great. I don't know how many of these I want to use, but honestly... If anything, to kind of thin out the crowds here is good enough for me. Ouch. Oh man, look at these guys. There's so many of these, like, fire monster things. Oh, you know what? Oh, okay, destroy those. Just, there are being, there are enemies that are respawning. So, the sooner I get rid of those, the better, because I don't want to have to deal with infinite waves of these guys. See, like, they're throwing out a lot of these things, so I'm gonna have to deal with more of them just because I wasn't doing anything about them. One thing I will do though is get rid of you if I could jump properly, thank you. Look at all these bolts though. Oh come on, I hit you, bull crap. There we go. Oh god! Thought that was all of them. Nope. <laughs> that is all of them, though. That is definitely all of them. So let's go ahead and do this thing. Man, look at all these bolts. Wish I had, like, a vacuum or something. I mean, I do have the suck cannon, but I feel very uncomfortable using that just because of the name. It's called Suck Cannon. <laughs> Why? Uh, okay, um, Devastator. That's one of the cargo ships we have to destroy, if that wasn't obvious. One of the eight we have to destroy. Uh, the other seven are pretty much in the outside area, so we'll see them when we kind of get back to the beginning of this planet. But uh, that's neither here nor there for right now, anyway. Nope! Damn it, I did not mean to step on that. Come on, Ratchet, stop playing around. Quit scrolling around! You of all people want to move forward just because I know there is someone at the end of this level you want to uh, kind of turn into your own personal punching bag. Captain Ratchet. <laughs> Come and get me, hero. Perhaps we could obtain a ship in there. Great idea. Let's go. And here we are. We are facing off against Captain Quark. Here's a little something for me. And not doing a good job to start with. <laughs> Man, he is just launching bombs here. Um, okay. Seems like it's better to avoid them as opposed to... Uh... Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm not avoiding them very well. You know, I've played so many games like Star Fox and like other games of that nature, so I'm like so used to how fluidly those games control, so this is, like, really, really stiff by comparison. I'm sure I can get used to it, but it's kind of hard to start with, at the very least. Yeah, I'm about to die, unfortunately. And there we go. It's okay, I kind of want to try again anyway. So, I think... Okay. There we go. 
Uh, also, uh, this would also be a good time to look for those other cargo ships that we need to destroy. In fact, I believe there's one of them. There's a couple over there. And, like, I don't think, like, he'll really, like, do much against you. I think he'll still fire, like, projectiles at you, but you can... You can do this and just, like, not even pay attention to Quark for a while if you want to take care of this now, which, honestly, probably does make more sense to do this just so you don't waste any of your, like, normal ammo destroying these cargo ships. <laughs> at least, at least the damage is somewhat realistic. <laughs> Because, yeah, the ship would probably explode if you did that, so I can understand that. I can understand that reaction. What the hell? What am I aiming at? Oh, okay. More cargo ships. I think these are the last two, though, so once we get these, I think we're done. So let's go ahead, turn around. I think I was flying too low, so because of that, I missed out. That's okay, though. Oh, wow, they're actually... I was actually doing some damage against them. That's kind of neat, I guess. Okay, there's the last one, I think. There we go. So the skill point has been gotten. Now we can actually focus on Quark. Okay, so we have the Quark fight now. Quark fight is honestly not too bad. Um... I made it look a lot harder than it actually is, I imagine. Uh, basically, yeah, you have to aim for different parts of port ship. You'll have different types of weapons and projectiles. He has these mines, which can be kind of annoying. So you have to look out for them. Um, if you get low on health or if you get low on your ammo, uh, there are boxes kind of around the battlefield that you can use. So don't be afraid to pick those up. Uh, the bombs will definitely deal more damage, but you do have to kind of be careful because you have, uh, obviously, a limited capacity of them. Once you get rid of uh, a third of his health bar, he starts doing this, which is pretty easy. Just kind of swaying back and forth and uh, doing your thing. And yeah, with the bomb, the one thing you got to have to remember is um, before you fire the bomb, you want to lock in, or you want to kind of have the lock on work. And basically, in order to get that to work, you just have to kind of have your um, your crosshair, the crosshair for your normal gun, just kind of stay on the target for a little while. And you have that kind of yellow and red flashing box. You can then just fire from there, and the bomb will go straight towards the ship. So if you use your ammo wisely and then save your shots for that, then you'll definitely uh, be pretty good to go. You'll knock out huge chunks of his health bar, so... That's probably the best way to get through this fight. It's, it's really not that bad. Again, I probably made it look harder than it actually was, to be quite honest. So we're, we're actually about done now. This fight's almost over. Back, just one more. There we go. Mayday! Mayday! Well, Ratchet, I'd say you passed the test. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yes! Quark is history. Despite my earlier criticism, I must admit, your piloting skills are improving. I knew you'd come around. But that has not helped us locate Drek. Come on, Clank, can't you just once relax and enjoy a little success? Hey, you want to catch a drag? Bet you this baby can do it. This is Darla Gratch reporting live from Gorda City. <laughs> this once peaceful planet is being torn apart today in an unprovoked attack. It now seems certain that Supreme Executive Chairman Drek will not be dissuaded in his efforts to destroy the galaxy for his own selfish needs. All hope certainly seems lost. Darla Gratch, Channel 2 News. Um. Yes, I know. It is worse than I expected, too. Look, maybe you were right. 
this is a lot bigger than you or me. I was really selfish focusing on Quark. It is not too late to stop Dread. Hey, yeah! We've got this new ship! Let's go get him! Now you are talking. Okay, so there we go. Um, we have the info bot for the next planets. Uh, Ratchet seems to be focused on the more uh, permanent danger. I think we are good to go now, guys. I am really, really happy about that. But we are not done with this planet just yet. Um, I don't think there's a way to get back to the uh, beginning, though. So I think the best thing we have to do, or the best thing we can do, is just like take off and then uh, come back to the planet from the other side. So I'm going to do that very quickly. And then, yes, we're going to go back and we're going to get the uh, skill point. Not the skill point, the gold bolt that I left behind. Uh, let me see, does this work? Okay, now this, see, this just takes me back to the first uh, area. So yeah, we do have to kind of leave and then come back, unfortunately. Uh, so I guess one thing I could do is I could just go back to the other planet and then end on this planet again. Uh, but yeah, let's go back to Novalis, because on Novalis, we can actually get the last gold bolt and the last skill point we need. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We haven't been on Novalis for a really long time. This was the first, uh, not counting kind of the, the tutorial planet, but the first, uh, the first planet we visited in this game. So yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be nice to come back here. It looks like Earth. Novalis is the planet Earth. Looks like it anyway. Uh, so, as far as the um, skill point is concerned, um, you need the Devastator or the Visibomb gun for this, and it's it's very simple. All you gotta do is just destroy either a fighter or a bomber. So, I'm gonna wait for them to kind of come back this way. There we go, got it. <laughs> so yeah, that's the skill point. Skill point, pretty easy. I think we, think we kind of got that on lockdown. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go inside the water that's down here. Cause keep in mind, when we first came to this planet, we did not have anything that allowed us to really traverse through water. We didn't have the hydro pack. We didn't have the O2 mask. So you know. There could be some stuff in the water here, and that's what we're going to be uh, taking a look at next. After I get chomped on by some angry uh, flying robots. Although I think I handled them pretty well. I think you guys kind of have to give me a little bit of credit for that. But yeah, we have the Hydro Pack, so let us... First, let's go underwater, and let's use the Hydro Pack to do some swimming. And we're going to be looking for some stuff in the briny deep here. I'm not sure where exactly this is, but we'll uh, we'll find it. I think this could be it, just because this does look like a pretty... Uh, pretty secluded area. There seems to be a current that's kind of pushing me back. Kind of like the vegetation that's down here. It's kind of cool looking. Got mushrooms as well. Wow, this is a really, a really nice secluded area. I have to admit. We also have these sludge monsters, so we'll just take care of them. I think. And I see the gold bolt. Can I... Okay, no, I can't do it that way. Well, let's see what's over here, because there is a wall jumping section we have, so we'll see if maybe this will give us a... 
some kind of intel for what we're supposed to do. And we get some more Devastator ammo too, which I am very, very much okay with that. So how the hell do I get up here? Oh, maybe, maybe there's like a thing over here I have to do. Yeah, because there's more enemies, so that makes sense. Oh wow, look at all these. Look at all these fools. It's like a family of sludge. I think the best part about this is I'm getting Visabomb ammo in here, too. So it's like they're really, really giving me the good stuff right now. Also, where's... I... Oh, I guess I took off the Walloper. Because, yeah, I need... Okay, I will need the Walloper to actually get that, so... Let me put that on Quick Select again. What do I want to replace it with, though? Or what do I want to replace for that? Wait, what's this again? Oh, that's the metal detector, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I don't need the metal detector. Screw that. <laughs> I guess one thing I could show off is, since I'm not really sure how long this video is, and it might be a pretty short video... I could also show you the bolt farming technique that I was doing. It may not be the fastest way to farm bolts, but it is a way you can do it. Okay, so we got the bolt, got some more ammo and more bol um, other bolts. Man, again, this, this section seriously looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie, this looks really, really unique. And to think it was just hiding from us in the very first planet of the game that we visited, so... All of this was here and we had no idea. It's just so crazy to think about. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for Novalis. I believe the only planet that um, we're missing stuff from is... Um... Rilgar, or the uh, the racetrack planet, because there is a gold bolt there, and there's also a skill point, but we can't quite get the skill point until we get a later weapon, so I'm going to be still putting that on hold, but yeah, I think we've done a great job uh, going back and backtracking through all the old planets and getting stuff. I think we've uh, covered a lot of ground that uh, we did not have, and we kind of left behind at the very beginning of the game. And there's honestly really not a lot of planets left, like, in general. Like, I want to say there's about, I don't know, give or take five planets, like, left. So we are definitely approaching the end game, I'd say. Also, my gosh, uh, speaking of... Since we are kind of talking about, like, PlayStation platformers, like, you know, Ratchet and & Clank and Crash Bandicoot and Spyro and all of those, um, two very awesome developments were made during the process of this Let's Play. And it's really funny considering, like, what I was talking about at the very beginning of this Let's Play. Uh, Crash Bandicoot The Insane Trilogy is actually coming to Switch. And I am so excited about that because I was holding off on doing Crash Bandicoot because I was waiting for the game to either come to um, Steam or Nintendo Switch, and I did not think the chances of it to coming to Switch were really, really high at all. Uh, but then, man, they just completely changed my perspective on that. It's coming to Switch, and I'm really excited about that. And not only that, the Spyro trilogy for PlayStation is also going to be on its way, too. Um, not to switch right away. I'm sure it's going to be on PlayStation 4 for uh, quite a bit before it makes its way to the other platforms. But still, 
the Spyro trilogy is another series I'm really interested in as well, and just hearing that it's going to be coming to at least PlayStation 4 first, but then there's going to be a good chance it'll be on other platforms too. That, that gets me really excited because I'll have a way to experience those games too. And I don't have to buy like all the original trilogy for a ridiculous price whenever I go to conventions or whatever. So yeah, just two very uh, cool developments that were made in the uh, last couple of months. Which I'm really, really excited about. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cut right here since I'm not sure how I'm doing for time. I'm going to cut to that room that had the gold bolt. So I will be right back guys and we'll collect that last gold bolt that to uh, kind of get things moving before the next episode. Okay, I finally made it back here. Um, took a lot of deaths on the way back. I don't know what it is. I just was not having a good time getting back here. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Gold bolt. The lasers are gone. Again, I'm not sure how the lasers go away. There might be like some kind of thing you can do to get rid of them, but... Okay, thank God. <laughs> I did not want to do that whole section over again. Uh, but yeah, like, ugh. Getting back here sucked. And yeah, you just have to, uh, make it over to this section here. There, there has to be a way to stop the lasers, because I have seen a lot of people say, and you can get this now, or when you first go through here, but... And so many other people have said, oh, just wait till you finish the planet and come back for it. Which also makes sense, admittedly. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Gold bolt acquired, and, uh... Anything back here? Like, no, I guess not. Okay. Well, with that, I think I am going to go ahead and start wrapping this video up. Um, I'm not sure how I'm doing for time now, <laughs> admittedly. So I don't know if I have time to show off that bolt grinding trick or not, but you know what, I'll go ahead and do it. You guys have been nice, so I'll go ahead and do that. So hold on, guys. Okay, we are actually back on the planet Kerr 1 because, like I said, I wanted to show you guys a neat little uh, bolt grinding trick. I wouldn't say this is the best way to grind bolts. I'm sure that someone who's played this game infinitely more times than me knows a better one uh, but there is definitely something you can do here as you notice there's all these uh, cars flying in and out and obviously you don't want to use ammo for this because if you use ammo you'll have to buy more ammo or find more ammo uh, but one thing you can do is well you do have a wrench that works pretty good at destroying these things and you do get you do get bolts whenever you destroy these so, the idea here is basically just find a way to uh, just quickly destroy these things. All you have to do is just keep the L1 button pressed, and then just mash on the uh, square button. You can also do this in a rhythm, so you can do this like faster without having to miss cars. Uh, so you have to find kind of the sweet spot. But this does work, and this is how I was able to grind a lot of bolts one night. And it was easy because I was in like a Skype call, so literally all I did was just like sit here while I was talking in the call, just pressing the button. And uh, after a while, I gained like 10,000 volts just by just kind of losing myself in the conversation I was having. So, this is a way you can grind bolts. Uh, bolts will be required to buy a lot of things in this game. And if you want to get all the gold weapons as well as the uh, Ripia new one weapon, uh, this is a way you can do it. But I'm sure there's a lot of other methods. If I discover any other methods, I'll show that. I'll showcase those as well. Uh, this is just kind of the quickest, easiest one I found. And if you're good like I am with kind of zoning out and just doing something for a long period of time, uh, you could do this, I suppose. So yeah, that's gonna be about it. Uh, so this has been Slim Kirby. This has been Ratchet and Clank. I'll see you guys next time when we uh, do more shenanigans in space. See you guys then. Later, folks.